heard just yet, but it looks like they're all assembled and ready. So that's yeah, they're ready to go. It looks like we got Mr. Yeah. R and Atomisk versus. I'm not sure. Who is, that, is that is that Doja? No, it's not Doja. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, we got him down on the stock field, stock field. There we go. All right, so yeah, Mr. R and Atomisk versus Ty and Stockfield. Mr. R and Atomus, oh, teammates for quite a few different tournaments yeah. now, definitely have that team chemistry. I can't say I'm too aware of what Kai and Stockfield have done, but let's see where they start us off in the match. All right, I do know that Kai held, of course, from New Jersey, as mm -hmm. does Atomus. So let's see what Stockfield can bring. He's the uh, underheard of Nate here. Let's see what he brings to the table. Right now, Atomus and Mr. R seem to have it. A pretty significant lead. Mr. R taking off the first stock from Stockfield. And there and we go. Yeah, mimicking the feet with Kai. And as of right now, as we already saw, Mr. R and Atomus coming out to a strong lead, something that wasn't unexpected. And my guess would be it's going to be some work for Kai and Stockfield to break these two guys' teammate, uh, teamwork down right now. Now, Kai's got his banana set up, and Blue Team is looking to take control of some of the stage. Mr. R at very deathly percents right now. He can die at any moment. If he slips on a banana, it could be the end of his stock. Very intelligently playing safe in Sony Kai. And I'm liking the pace from uh, Adamus and Mr. R right now. They're taking it slow, they're in control, you know, they're not really getting frantic for anything. It's looking like a very strong start for them. They understand that at this point it is their match to lose, and they have no intention of doing so. I really looking to close out Mr. R's stock. But he just can't seem to find his kill move. Meanwhile, Adamus takes off another stock from Stockfield. A smart move there by Kai. He knew that Stockfield wasn't around and he was just trying to get back to the stage to like, prevent that 2v1. And Kai in there, we live in. Ain't dropping that stock just yet. And there he goes. Finally, Mr. R gets caught up in a little commotion at the edge. Stay away from that drama, kids. Drama free zone. Oh, Adamus and Mr. R seeming to lose a little teamwork here as they've beaten each other up now twice. Very good reaction time by Mr. R, understanding that he was definitely going to get grabbed in that situation and ending Kai's stop and up beat. Now, big deficit here. Blue team down two stocks right now. They're going to have a lot of room to make up as Mr. R only sitting at 38% on his second stock. And it's really seemed like Blue team has been struggling a lot as far as stage control. You know, Adamus and Mr. R have been doing a great job of consistently keeping them off the stage and making commotion. So I feel like that's definitely playing in a role where this two stock deficit is. As Stockfield loses his stock and Kai gets put in bad position. There it goes, a solid four stock by our hometown hero, Adamus and Mr. R. Now it's quite apparent that Stockfield is a little unused to this level of competition, so let's see if he's able to adapt and possibly bring back something in game two. I'm thinking that they should pick a little bit more of a frantic counter pick to kind of toss things up, maybe a little bit of Pokemon Stadium. I know, agree whole, like that. I agree wholeheartedly. We saw a lot of stage domination by Adamus and Mr. R. They were very well aware of the space, and I think it would help out a lot to have a stage that not only changes as we would see with, uh, with um, pardon me, Pokemon, but on top of that, just not allow consistent stage control exactly. as Smash Go Low. Yeah, mix things up, and possibly, you especially want to see if you can lock up characters, because Pokemon Stadium really complements Diddy Kong in doubles, where he really limits a lot of options naturally just by having the bananas out. And there it goes, Pokemon Stadium was a choice. We are on point today, my friend. Wow. And Adamus switches from Meta Knight to Mario. Interesting enough, but I can't say I'm too shocked. It looks like he wanted to sacrifice a little bit of his uh, priority and disjointedness for you know, the flexibility that Wario gets by having his massive mobility to deal with some of the sticky situations that you might find yourself in on a stage like Pokemon Stadium with Diddy Kong in doubles. Wario is able to take great advantage of high commotion in situations like that because he has high power moves like Fart and he's able to get in and out of where he needs to be regardless of the stage dynamics. Now the one thing I'm noticing right now from Stockfield is he seems a little frantic. As Kai starts to establish space and bananas, you always find Stockfield off to the side doing a 1v1. He's not really taking advantage of Kai's bananas at all or trying to help him out with it. And unfortunately, I think it's starting to cost the team a lot. 
even though they are actually, I should watch myself though, they are in the they are in the lead right now. They do have the lead here. I think they would be best to simply take this reset, allow Kai to set up bananas, probably put one in Stockfield 10. I would just yes. say. Yeah. As we see Kai waiting for Stockfield to pick that up, yeah. that's your banana, my friend. And we get the projectile <laughs> set up. It's gonna be a little bit difficult for Bart to get a solid approach here. Wario might find his way in, but uh, supposing Stockfield has really solid zoning, then it's pretty good. I'm a little surprised. Kai, he definitely had all the defense he needed. I mean, Meta Knight had a banana, he had a banana, he had peanuts flying off. I don't know why Kai chose to go in right there. I think it would have been good to just sit on their lead a little bit, try and rack up a little bit more percent, maybe get uh, ramen into kill percents a little bit, and play it slow and safe. Let them come to you. Now the light did shine on Kai a little bit as they managed to get a kill and now they're keeping everything even, but at this point now he has to be careful because this is the point where you want to take a lead, not try and maintain a small one. I agree. Back throw here. Bad DI from Kai. He's dead from an untippered Marth there. That looks a little gross. Stockfield though playing that good teammate job. Cleaned up a kill real quick though to keep the game very close to even. Nice job by Stockfield to take control of the center and stage there. Gives Kai a little bit of time to set up. And now it seems that uh, Kai and Stockfield have done exactly what we were talking about in the uh, intermission there. You know, they've really not allowed stage control. They've kept pace with it, and they're really making this a much different game than game one. Kai playing really smart right now. Great read by Adamus there. Unfortunately, Ramen didn't predict that he would fight. He figured he would jump out, roll out of the way, and he ended up hitting him with a neutraler. And you can tell these small spaces are definitely favoring the blue team right now as they have had no room for proper punishes. Almost every single punish they've got has been interrupted or stopped. Very wise double down smash there by Kai, knowing that the stage's transformation would change the ground he's standing on, therefore canceling the lag of his grounded attack. Adam has finally dropped his stock after displaying some absolutely fantastic DI's. Living up to about 200 plus percent there too. The blue team has a slight lead. If Stockfield is able to figure out a way to take this stock off of Mr. R, but it looks like he's going to get parted on, and that, that's huge. Way too much percent, and then Adam is taking him out early. They should stare, you should always share that stock right away. When you share stock, your respawn is instantaneous, as opposed to you having like a normal death timer of about half of a second. So you don't really want to, as soon as you drop that stock, you should share stock right away. You don't want to allow your partner to get 2v1 for a period of time before share stocking. Now. Obviously, there are several exceptions. Now, you, no, 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 I was going to say, now, I mean, I have to say, Adamus can come through and put an end to many of Blue Team's last stocks. As he took Stockfield's last one, the team, uh, the team share went on, and then he completely took Ty's uh, Ty stock immediately yet again, too. Adamus is looking to close out this game right now. There it goes. And that was the reason why I had a feeling we were going to see Wario Mart. The teamwork between those two characters, especially in the hands of Adamus and Mr. R, very fierce. Still a way better performance from our blue team on yes, game two. Definitely. No, I definitely feel that they were starting to adapt. They were starting to get it a little bit more. I'm looking forward to seeing a little bit more of Stockfield in the future after he maybe gets a little bit more experience under his belt and uh, learns to cope with some of the higher caliber players. A little bit better, picks up safer and smarter and more pressureful options and also possibly working with the team a little bit more. There were some willy-nilly times where he didn't get in there enough to really compliment Kai. They had a great mindset, picked the right counter pick, made it a much better game, so they have a good, you know, a lot of potential to work with. Now it's time to get back and sculpt that. All right. So, of course, I'm going to take a moment to quick shout out, of course, to Flash Tournaments, bringing you this oh, tournament yeah. today, as well as many others. Uh, also, Smash Tournaments, which you can find more information on Facebook.com slash Smash Tournament. Mm -hmm. So, remember, that's 